Hi, my name is JP and welcome to another video where I continue my space journey to Jazz Harmony. And this time under a microscope is only two scales. Barry Harris dominant 7 D minor set and Barry Harris minor 6 D minor set scales. But the first, little background for that. In intro you heard this. All these chords and single line notes come from one scale and this is C epologic. And like we learned in previous video, this scale comes from C's harmonic overtones and undertones. And without harmonic series, 15 part are overtone B and its undertone pair D flat. It's the same scale what we called C melodic major or F melodic jazz minor. And without C, what we call generator, we have octatonic slash D minor set scale. And the roots for octatonic scale are D flat, E, G, and B flat. And for D minor set, D, F, A flat, B slash C flat. And as we like know, this octatonic slash D minor set scale are combination of two D minor set seven chords. For example, G octatonic scale contains G, D minor set seven, and A flat D minor set seven chords. And when we combine this G D minor set seven chord and F minor six chord, we got Barry Harris F minor six D minor set scale. And when we combine this A flat D minor set seven or its inversion D D minor set seven and uh, C seven, we got uh, Barry Harris C seven D minor set scale. So this C epologic scale contains. C melodic major slash F jazz melodic minor. G B flat D flat and E octatonic scale. B D F and A flat D minor set scale. Barry Harris C7 D minor set scale. And Barry Harris F minor 6 D minor set scale. And of course many other scales, but more on that later in another video. And now we have like two worlds. The C is a tonic, but it's also dominant for F. And this F is like an undertone world dominant for C. So it's like a coin and we can flip it. And other way construct these two Barry Harris scales are slightly different. So in Barry Harris C7 D minor set scale, we have a C7 in first degree. And of course we can think that uh, this C7 also come from uh, harmonic series, overtones, and for, from a uh, third uh, octave. So there's in thir third octave we have octave, uh, fifth, uh, major third and uh, harmonic seventh. So we can think that C sevens all chord tones are also generators. So then also G generate C seven chord, E generate E seven chord, and B flat generate B flat seven chord. And when we put together this G seven, E seven, and B flat seven, we got D Moravian Pistolkova scale. The G7, E7 and B flat 7 doesn't have that C, which is also generator. But if we included it, we got that Barry Harris C7 diminished scale. So now we can think that all these chords are come from C, but also they go to C. So for example, this G resolve to C, fine. This E can result to C, and of course we got this uh, backdoor dominant, with, and it's also a result to C. 
And now let's start to generate Barry Harris F minor 6 diminished scale in same way. For minor 6 diminished scale, we can start from C7's overtone pair F minor 6, and then we cut this F minor 6 chord. And I play it in that way because it's as easy to see that C generate this F and this F generate B flat minor 6 chord and A flat generate D flat minor 6 chord and of course this D generate G minor 6 chord and when we combine this G minor 6, B flat minor 6 and D flat minor 6 we got B flat Hungary major scale. And as like in D, Moravian Pistolkova scale, this B flat uh, Hungarian major scale doesn't have C. And now if we put that C, which is a generator to this B flat Hungarian major scale, we got that Barry Harris F minor 6 D minor scale. So now we got this G minor 6, which can resolve to F minor or F. B flat minor 6 which can resolve to F and D flat minor 6 which can resolve to F. It's still good to understand and even I said these chords resolve to F or F minor, they actually resolve to C. And this C is of course F's fifth note. In equal temperate system world, we have same pitches. We have to understand that even though enharmonically we get the same sound, they are not really the same and therefore they can behave differently in different musical situations. So it's about where and when the notes are in the music. <laughs> And this is end of this video and if you like it please click the thumbs up and all comments are very welcome. So see you in next video. Bye!